some ladies collect shoes, purses, makeup, and some collect art supplies. Hi, my name is Vanessa and I make art videos on anything art related. A little bit of this and that. If that speaks to you, consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a art haul over the month of December. This is part two to my previous December haul. Before we get started, I wanted to share with you a special announcement that's going to happen at the end of this video. So please stick around for that. Up first, we have some Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pins. These are Indian ink brush tip pins. These are the first time of me owning this type of pin from Faber-Castell. This first package is their basic set. Packaging describes them as archival, waterproof, permanent, light, fast, and odorless. In this pack, you get primary and secondary colors. This is phalo blue. The nib seems sturdy and strong. Here we have permanent green olive. This next color is dark chrome yellow. This is cadmium yellow. The red tone you get in this pack is pink carmine. And the violet that you get is called purple violet. The next pack comes with four and the green it comes with is called dark phthalo green. This color is called cobalt turquoise. This color reminds me of yellow ochre, but it's called green gold. And this color reminds me of magenta, but it's crimson. And unfortunately, this color is pretty dry, so I'm going to have to return it and get a new set. Here is the last pack from Faber-Castell. This is the beautiful pastel set. This is light indigo. Here we have cold gray. This pretty yellow is called Light Yellow Glaze. Lastly from this set, this is called Pale Pink. This next purchase was made from a gift card I had from Amazon and I was very grateful to receive a gift card from a parent and student. This is the Zig Clean Color Real Brush from Kiritaki. This set comes with 120 colors and it contains two boxes. Box one has more vibrant colors. Box two has more natural and pastel colors. I decided to grab a few colors from each box and test them out. I randomly picked some colors to use and let me tell you, these are great. I love them. I think that they are gonna be one of my new favorites. I definitely am looking forward to using these in my new sketchbook that I just started. Let me know down in the comments if you would like me to do a more in-depth review on these and a video of some sorts. I would be more than happy to do that. Packaging says that these are a brush type watercolor pin. It's bristles. Brush tip makes it easy to create both narrow and wide lines. Because it is a water soluble ink, you can blur it with water or mix it with other colors. Oh, the fun I will be having with these new pins. This next item I have to share with you is a gift from my husband for Christmas. This is the Karen Dash 84 set of Neo Color. These are water soluble wax pastels. Let's open this up and see what's inside. So when I open the leaflet, I'm gonna cut the side and see what's underneath. And just like my gouache Karen Dash set, you have a color chart. This is convenient and will save me some time. I'll have to fill that out. All right, so opening up the tin, there are beautiful amount of colors, all that I need to do some artwork. And then there are some stickers that I can place on my tin or somewhere else. And then there's just some information card about the company. I ended up grabbing two colors from the pack and decided to test them out. So I did a gradient and made some marks and then I decided to put some water over the top. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so much fun. I'm thoroughly looking forward to using these and I'm super grateful that my husband bought me these for Christmas. Thank you, Ray. Let me know if you own these and what you think of them. Up next, we have some palettes, brushes, and paints. I'm covering up my address, but I wanted to show you the box. This is a wet palette. This was another gift from my husband. The box says this is wet or dry painting palette holder with 18 mixing welds, brush holder and two sponges and a 50 pack palette paper. Box also has a thank you note on it and it's 
owned by a small family business, so this is nice to support a small business. It comes with a thorough information and instruction card. Let's go ahead and open up and see what's inside. I like the color of the box, so that's nice. It comes with an elastic strap to keep it closed. The strap feels sturdy and like it's good quality and so does the plastic of this palette. I intend to use this for my acrylic gouache because acrylics, as you know, dry quickly and so I want to see how well this works. So it has two trays. The first one is for you to put your paints in, a mixing area, and the bottom is for you to actually put the paint. So furthermore, the bottom half is for you to actually put your antibacterial foams and then the pre-cut hydration paper on top and then the paint. So that sponge is really going to help you keep your paints hydrated so they don't dry as quickly when you're working on your artwork. Let's see what we have next. Oh, a portable painter micro palette. This comes in a well-made cloth bag and it has some information on the actual palette and a thank you note from the creator. This little palette is for an artist on the go for carrying watercolor and doing plain air work, which I would want to do more of that in the new year. And I was trying to figure out how to use this. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little frustrated how to figure out how all the pieces work together. So it comes with an information pamphlet. I need to spend more time and figure out how all these pieces fit together. Let's move on to something new. Next we have some paint brushes from Silver Brush. This is Silver Brush's limited brush set and these are specifically made for acrylics and watercolor, but I like these actually for gouache. I had hauled a similar set, I believe it was in November, my November haul, and I like them a lot so I ended up buying this set. And this is a four pack, so you get a number four round, a number eight round, a number one liner, and a one half inch stroke brush. This next purchase is a book and this is called Dynamic Still Life Painting for Artists a modern guide to essential concepts and techniques. I follow the author Sarah Sedwick on Instagram for a few years and I absolutely love her style of painting and I want to learn from her so I'm interested into seeing what she does to get the effects that she does. Flipping through the book the illustrations are beautiful and I really can't wait to read what's inside so this will be a new read for the new year. You know what it's time for? It's time for gouache. This is the Mia Himi Big Gouache Set and this one is another gift for my husband for Christmas. Wow, you get a lot of colors in here and I am very thankful to have this. I look forward to using this in the new year. He heard me raving about my other Himi gouache that I have, so he ended up picking these up for me from Amazon. So again, thank you, Ray, for all the wonderful gifts. These are absolutely spectacular. All right, so if you watched any of my previous hauls, you know that I like watercolor and I'm into collecting palette sets. And this one I had to get because look at the color of the palette. It is so beautiful. I am a sucker for packaging. In this palette from Blick, you get Lemon Yellow, Cadmium Yellow Light, Cadmium Red Light, Permanent Carmine, Prussian Blue, Ultramarine Finest, Thalo Green, Transparent Orange, Burnt Sienna, Payne's Gray Bluish, Burnt Umber, and Ivory Black. Opening up the tin palette, you will see that there's only one row of half pans of paints. In the bottom row, you can use two Put your own paint so I ended up buying a few tubes from Schminka to fill in the bottom row. First color we have is Tundra Orange. Then I got Indian Yellow which I love this color. This is Vermilion Light, Tundra Rose, Brilliant Red Violet, Quinacridone Violet, Deft Blue, Tundra Blue, and Olive Green. So this concludes 
my haul for this month and I am going to slow down on buying watercolors because I have enough for a lifetime but um, I'm very thankful to have everything that I have purchased recently and um, I look forward to making lots of art in the new year. So with that said, I would like to tell you guys about the next video I'm going to make in the new year. I am doing a video on goals and intentions for 2023 and I hope you will watch that next video as well. And um, also my special announcement is that I hit 500 subscribers. I am super thrilled and I never thought anyone would want to watch any of the videos that I put out, but I am pleasantly surprised to see that number and little by little I'm growing and I'm very grateful for that, so thank you. And once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I would like to do a giveaway. So hopefully we'll reach that sometime in the new year and stay tuned for that if that ends up happening. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video in the new year. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.